Yo guys, it's Danny and I'm back in another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Dodge Hellcat, the Dodge Charger Hellcat wide body, if you wanna say. And I'm gonna be seeing if it's worth the price. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys. Wait, and why am I doing that, bro? I need to stop doing my outro. So yeah, let's get right into this. All right, so if we go over here and then we go to car, well, it should just pop up. Is here. It's 105k and it has four bars of horsepower. Now, to be honest, just ignore the horsepower bar, it's really misleading. Now, this truck has three and a half, but I tested it with my friend and it's slower than the Chevy Impala. But going back to the Hellcat, it is 105k and it looks very good. So let's just buy it and let's test it out. Now, just from driving it so far, it's going very fast. It's a very good looking car and I really like the look of it. I normally drive this when I'm doing some crime, so I just do it like in all black or something. But it looks really good. I'm gonna go to the mod shop, we're gonna test out the looks, then we're gonna go to the pros and the cons. So with black rims, looks really nice. You guys know I do my cars with white body and then a black rims. As well as this red license plate, just makes it look so clean. So you, so you guys can see it looks really nice, really clean. It looks really cool and it'll look good in basically any other color. So a good thing is that it goes very fast. I believe it goes like 130 something. I think it's faster than the GTR for some reason, I don't know. And it also has four seats. So if you're doing some crime with your friends or whatever, then you can use this car. And you can probably just get away with some cops. So we're going to go down Riverside and we're going to see what the top speed is. I believe it's faster than the Mustang and the GTR, but it is definitely slower than the Corvette. It goes 133 miles an hour and for a car that's 105k, that's pretty good. BMW goes 120 as we tested out in that video and... Well, this car is faster than it. This car looks really good, but let's go on to the cons. I think it's just me, but the grille looks a bit retro. And if you want a more modern car, then I wouldn't really look at the grille that much. It's really realistic, but I just don't really like the design much. But it still looks really nice. There aren't really many cons to this car, except for the fact that I don't really like the grille much. But everything else about this car is perfect. It's great for the price, it's great for everything, it looks very good, and to be honest, it's probably one of the best cars for its price. I know this video has been a bit short, but it is what it is. The car is definitely worth the price. If you guys start the game and you want to grind up for a car and then grind up like a Lamborghini or something, I'll definitely get this car as it's really good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it's a bit short, but yeah. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I need a step back, slow down,